Well, Texas law now requires armed guards at every school in the state, but are those who are being hired to protect actually equipped for the jobs? The News 4i team's Mariah Medina uncovered data showing the tools and training many local school district police lack that experts say can make all the difference when lives are on the line. In Nashville, officers wasted no time going toward an active shooter. Let's go, I need three. Who was armed with handguns and a rifle. Push the LPB up. The suspect shot at a distance by an officer armed with a rifle with an optic. A stark contrast to the scene in Uvalde. An up to the minute analysis by the Department of Justice shows Uvalde CISD Police Chief Pete Arredondo stood by, calling for more firepower as the shooter was armed with a military style rifle. The response by Arredondo and others who were first on scene defies standard active shooter response protocols, which say officers should go in with what they have, even if it's a solo response. But experts say that the proper tools could have made a difference in the first few minutes of that initial response. In law enforcement and public safety, you would, shouldn't sit there at the end of this in incident and say, well, what if we would have had long rifles? Well, what if we would have had shields? Well, what if all these things? No, we should give all the officers all the tools they need so that way they can respond appropriately. In the aftermath of Uvalde, the state of Texas awarded grants to various law enforcement agencies to equip officers with rifle rated shields, but nothing to procure rifles. A move three-time Purple Heart recipient and law enforcement training expert John Farnham criticized. They should have spent the money on more rifles and more training. That, I think, represents one of these feel-good solutions that makes legislators think, think they've done something when they've really just ignored the problem. The I-Team reviewed thousands of pages of training records for San Antonio's largest school districts to see what percentage of campus police officers are trained on how to use rifles and found that many lacked that training and even less of them are actually equipped with rifles. Favored by law enforcement for its increased ammunition capacity, ability to penetrate body armor, as well as its accuracy at long ranges, all areas where the standard issued pistol falls short, experts say that rifle can come in handy, especially in environments like this. I think we have to think about safety in layers. NEISD Superintendent Dr. Sean Micah says the rifle is just one factor of a multifaceted response, pointing to other pieces he says are more critical to ensuring a good response. What I will remind everyone is that it comes down to the training that they receive. And that piece is in order to go in that seconds matter and that they need to respond with what the tools that they have at the time. They do not have the time to run to a room or run to, they have to have it on their person at that given moment. Like NEISD, SAISD also treats school safety in layers. Hampered by budget shortfalls, the chief says while they might not be able to equip all of their officers with rifles, they tactically deploy those resources throughout the district and take other steps. Their robust dispatch facility complemented by their highly trained personnel. The agency has 11 officers certified by the Alert Center to teach active shooter training. Other agencies, uh, to include as, uh, ISD agencies, will come to us for that type of training, and we are big on that. Outside the school districts, the Bear County Sheriff's Office equips each of its patrol deputies with rifles, rifle rated shields, and breaching tools for day to day calls and to aid in the event of an active shooter. We have actually taken to training the school district police officers in how to use the tools that we carry. And to ensure deputies and campus officers are prepared to collaborate in a critical incident, something that first responders in Uvalde failed to do. Officers are now required by state law to complete at least 16 hours of active shooter training every two years, but some agencies are making time for their officers to do even more so that if they are outgunned, they won't be outtrained. For the News 4i team, I'm Mariah Medina.